Unit 1, Lesson 8, Area of Triangles. Number 1. To find the area of this right triangle, Diego and Jada used different strategies. Diego drew a line through the midpoints of the two longer sides, which decomposes the triangle into a trapezoid and a smaller triangle. He then rearranged the two shapes into a parallelogram. A. Explain how Diego might use his parallelogram to find the area of the triangle. Since Diego's parallelogram is made out of the same parts as the triangle, he can simply multiply the base times the height. 3 times 4 equals 12. The area of Diego's parallelogram is 12 square feet. And since the parallelogram is made out of the same parts as the triangle, the area of the triangle would also be 12 square feet. Jada made a copy of the triangle, rotated it, and lined it up against one side of the original triangle so that the two triangles make a parallelogram. B. Explain how Jada might use her parallelogram to find the area of the triangle. Unlike Diego, Jada didn't make her parallelogram out of the same parts as the triangle. Since Jada used the original triangle and a copy of the original triangle, the area of her parallelogram is going to be twice the size of the area of the triangle. So when we multiply the base times the height, 3 times 8, we'll get 24. But since this area is twice the size of the area of the original triangle, we'll have to divide that by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. The area of the original triangle is 12 square feet. Number 2. Find the area of the triangle. Explain or show your reasoning. A. I decided to decompose this triangle by removing a section and rearranging it so it becomes a rectangle. Now that I have a rectangle, I can easily see that the base is 6 and the height is 2. 6 times 2 is 12. The area of this rectangle is 12 square units and the area of the triangle is 12 square units because the rectangle was made out of the same parts as the triangle. B. I'm going to decompose this triangle and rearrange it so it becomes a parallelogram. I need to make a horizontal cut halfway between the base and the opposite vertex and the distance between the base and the opposite vertex is 3, so I'll have to make a horizontal cut 1.5 units above the base, and then rearrange it into the shape of a parallelogram. The base of the parallelogram is 4, and the height is 1 and 5 tenths. I need to multiply the base times the height to get the area, so 4 times 1 and 5 tenths equals 6. The area of the parallelogram and of the triangle is 6 square units. Number 3. Which of the three triangles has the greatest area? Show your reasoning. If you get stuck, use what you know about the area of parallelograms to help you. I'm going to go ahead and use what I know about parallelograms to help me. So the first thing that I need to do is turn these triangles into parallelograms either by decomposing and then rearranging into the shape of a rectangle or copying the shape of the triangle and attaching it to the existing triangle to make a rectangle or a parallelogram. Now it's pretty easy for me to find the base and the height of the rectangle and parallelograms but remember the area of the rectangle and parallelograms are twice the area of the original triangles. They all have a base of 5 units and a height of 4 units, which is an area of 20 square units. So all the triangles would have an area of 10 square units. It turns out that neither of the three triangles has the greatest area. They all have an equal area of 10 square units. Number 4. Draw an identical copy of each triangle such that the two copies together form a parallelogram. If you get stuck,
consider using tracing paper. I've drawn identical copies of each triangle and I've joined them together to form parallelograms. Number 5. A. A parallelogram has a base of 3 and 5 tenths units and a corresponding height of 2 units. What is its area? Again, to find the area, we need to multiply the base times the height. 3 and 5 tenths times 2 will equal the area. 3 and 5 tenths times 2 is 7. So the area would be 7 square units. B. A parallelogram has a base of 3 units and an area of 1 and 8 tenths square units. What is the corresponding height for that base? They told us that the base is 3 units and that the area is 1 and 8 tenths square units, but they haven't told us the height, so we need to figure out the height. Base times height equals area. The base is 3, the height is unknown, and the area is 1 and 8 tenths square units. So we need to find out what number times 3, or 3 times what number, equals 1 and 8 tenths. And we can do that by dividing. 1 and 8 tenths divided by 3 will tell us the height. 1 and 8 tenths divided by 3 is 6 tenths. So the height would be 6 tenths of a unit. C. A parallelogram has an area of 20 and 4 tenths square units. If the height that corresponds to a base is 4 units, what is the base? Again, we know that the base times the height equals the area. The base is unknown, but we do know that the height is 4 and the area is 20 and 4 tenths square units. What number times 4 equals 20 and 4 tenths? We can figure that out by dividing 20 and 4 tenths by 4. 20 and 4 tenths divided by 4 is 5 and 1 tenth. The base is 5 and 1 tenth of a unit.